Hi, I'm Tyler Parsons. Today we're lucky enough to be joined by Kenny Perry, who's going to be helping us out with some speed drills and swings that you can do at home or on your range. So stay tuned and we'll get started. All right, so for our first drill, I'm going to have Kenny with his feet together. And the purpose behind this is that it's shutting down that lower body. He's not going to be able to transfer. So he's going to have to use a lot of that core as he rotates. And then as he comes through, we're going to load and he's straight back. So when I go on and have him get started, you see how still the lower body's having to stay. So again, he's really having to engage that upper, rotate through, loading back, stretching, rotation. That's great right there. So now we'll go on and let Kenny hit a couple and you can start to see. Nice and straight. Let's do one more. So again, you'll see as he turns, there's not a lot of load because that lower body so still. Very nice. Ooh, love that one. So again, a great little speed exercise for you to shut off that lower body, get that upper turning to produce some more power. Exercise, we're going to do this in two ways. We're going to have the feet together, stepping and swinging through just like the normal swing. At the end of those five, we're going to switch over. And now we're going to be swinging to the left, stepping in with the right. The purpose behind this is that golfers typically only swing one direction. So they build up trigger points, tightness on one side. We want to try to even that out so that we can use it as a braking system because it's been shown that the fastest players in any sport are able to accelerate, but then they have that built in for the deceleration. So I'll have Kenny go on and get started. So feet are together, stepping out. Now we're really starting to push with that right foot, drive, big rotation. And the big thing is to listen for that swoosh noise. When is it happening? And that's usually a really good indicator of speed. So now, Kenny, I'm going to have you go the other way. Let's see that left-handed swing. Nice. So you still hear the swooshing noise out in front. And that's going to be from that great impact position that he's had over the years. Do one more for me. Fantastic. So again, that's really going to help balance out the body, help build up so that as we go to generate that power, we have the adequate braking system to help us slow down. So on this next piece, we've actually switched over and now we just have a shaft, no head. The purpose behind that is to make it a lot lighter. What we're looking for here is to build up an overspeed to where we practice with something so light that we teach the body what we're really trying to do so that we put a regular club back in our hand, it's no problem. So all KP is going to do here is a normal golf swing back, same thing. We're getting that nice big whoosh, he's getting set, loading back, good, and again, it's where do we hear that whoosh noise? And one more. That's perfect. So we hear a lot more speed popping through there. Again, teach the body what we're trying to do, make it nice and easy so that whenever we put that club back in, we can just smash it out there. All right, so we're sticking in line still with our shaft. And again, this time we're going light, but we're going to beat in, build in that nice, smooth, fast one going through our brake system, so we're going to even it out coming back. So KP is going to go back, swing through, nice big whoosh, then straight back, pulling the other side. There's two. Again, you hear a lot of speed being generated both directions. There you go. That's good right there. Nice and light, we're able to swing extremely fast, creating a nice big swoosh, and we're turning around, putting it straight in, helping even it out. So for this last segment, what we're going to do is we're back to our driver and we're going to set up in our normal golf posture and stance. What we'll do is we're going to swing back, swing through, and then again, as soon as we get to the top, we're straight back, straight through, keeping that body coiling and rotating so there's never any downtime. So we'll let KP demonstrate again. Nice. You can tell as he's doing this, we're again getting that lower body now engaged. He's pulling through. 
Each swing's nice and smooth, getting a little faster. We'll go on and let him rip one. Nice. So what we're looking for is that nice smooth transition. We're back, popping it back through, back and through. It's definitely gonna help you pick up some more speed. All right, so now we're going to do an advanced series of exercises that you can just do at home, in your backyard, or wherever. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, on the range. What we're gonna do for this is work on really getting the hip speed to rotate through. First, we have to get into that golf posture, turn back like you're to the top of your swing. Hopefully this is gonna create that coil into the back. And then what we're gonna do is go on, allow this left hip to open and rotate through quickly, but we wanna to try to keep the upper body back as much as we can, really creating that separation. Again, that way as the hips eventually will lead through, that's gonna drag the rest of the body, really working on that kinematic sequence. So you can do a set of 10 of them at home. What we're gonna do, again, we're back and rip it through. So it's okay, this foot comes up. Again, it's as much like your golf swing as we can. We're loaded, really firing it through. Powering as much as we can. And really just ripping through. Should be great, again, work that lower body, hold this upper body back, create more separation for more power. All right, so for this advanced exercise, again, we're at home, go on and grab a medicine ball. And what you wanna do is you wanna start relatively light and we wanna work up. The heavier, the better, but we have to make sure that we can get the ball airborne. So what we're doing is we're taking our medicine ball, you're going down into a squat, and from there, we're basically doing a keg throw. So we're gonna use the lower body to jump up, produce a lot of power, lift, and throw the ball up in the air, okay? So we're down and up, watching, letting the ball come down, We'll grab rebound and we're straight back into it, down and up, really forcing the lower body to do all the work. And then we get to stabilize with the abs and work on that extension to get the ball nice and high. So for this exercise, what I'm gonna have you do is get a 10 pound medicine ball. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing a shot put. We'll have you get down into your golf posture. We're going to explode using that lower body with a nice little twist. We're taking the arm, we're throwing the ball out. So you're gonna need a partner or wall for this. And as you throw it and it comes back, what I want you to do is switch over to that left hand. That way again, we're balancing out that body, getting both sides strong. So we're down, we're loaded, we're turning, exploding and throwing. Let the ball come back and repeat the other side to produce some more power. So now we're gonna do a one-handed advanced portion of the swing. And again, I just have my regular golf shaft. So if you have one of the new interchangeable drivers, pull that shaft out. If not, what we can do, take your regular driver, have the head down here, and do that with one hand, okay? So what we're gonna do is a one-headed swing, powering through to do our overspeed. We're gonna get it set and work on that overspeed back. But again, the importance of going the other direction is to even out that body. All the golfers wanna pull through one direction and we neglect the other side. So we're doing our best, even though it feels awkward, to even that out, okay? So here we go. We're over to the left. So, pretty intense workout. Gets you a little bit out of breath. We're looking to go as hard as we can. Again, listen for that swoosh is. The further we advance it on, the faster we know you're getting. So it's really gonna help with the overspeed, produce you more speed so you can get more power, more club head speed. So here's an advanced portion that you can try at home. And we're going back to obviously just the shaft. So what we had Kenny do is he was hitting as he was standing up, swinging through, going back and loading. So I'm gonna put you down onto your knees to where we're again, we're gonna shut off that lower body. So we have to really whip through and create that. So we're going for five. And again, it's all about where you can hear that swoosh. There was five, we're trying to out in here. If we can get up in there, even better. But again, this is for that overspeed to get the body ready as we're going through so it understands fast. All right, so for this exercise, we're back to our club. And what we're gonna do is a slap shot. 
We're going to stagger the hands so one's on the top end of the grip, the other's on the bottom. We're going to get in that golf posture, load up, and really rip through. We're going to do 10 swings, hard as we can, really trying to use that midsection to pull through. The hand spaced out, it's going to be a little bit different feel for you, so see what you think. And just make sure that it's pulling and powering through, letting that arm extend and release over. So definitely give that a try. Really going to be using that lower body, twisting, coiling, working on that separation. So we're still keeping up with the advanced portion here. We're on our knees, we're back to the regular golf club. We're going to shut down that lower body and what we're going to do is swing back and swing through, regroup and go again. Now I'm going to go on and hit a ball. We have Trapman set up to get some numbers just so we can get a reference here. So off that shot, we're down to 105. Tour average is roughly around 113. So on a good day, whenever I'm standing up and I'm grounded, we're around the mid 140s. What we've done, again, shut off that lower body, showing you just how important it is. We're working on that rotation. So whenever we go to stand back up and get grounded, we're able to use those legs to really produce more power and create more ground force to up that speed. 